How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the Blue Ship Thing, and welcome back to Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. So, second chapter it is, and we are on the third tower. We fought Blue Blanc. We fought, oh, uh, the Wolf of uh, Fetch. I, Walter. That's right, Walter. Uh, now we're heading to the third tower, which is going to be the Lady with the Bells. So she's going to be that. And then I'm guessing the last one is going to be Ren. So... That'll be fun. Anyway, we're jumping in. We have Shara with us. Uh, someone point out in the discussions that Shara, especially with that new orbital we have, we unlock uh, at least one of her slots. Shara can probably become our healer. We could put Chloe aside and we could put somebody else on. I hate that because I love having Chloe on the team because, you know, Chloe's awesome. But that's a fair point. Because if we do that, it would mean we could have another hit hard hitter like Aga on the team, and that could be really, really nice. So, yeah, we'll have to just see how that plays out, but we'll get to it, I suppose. So, I'm gonna go walk around, talk to some people, change up some orbs, probably have conversations with, you know, everybody, and then we'll get started with the tower. So, let's, let's not dilly dally, let's get right back into it. I also have to, like, change orbs around on everybody, so that's gonna be fun. Right, we saw the orphans almost getting, uh, like, taken out. Good. Good to hear. Great work, you guys. We still haven't figured out why the source of the Orbal Field anomaly is. But we could well, if we could just figure out what it is, we could do something about it. I'm sorry. I think we'll need to rely on you for a while longer. Who are you? Sorry, please don't distract me. The wind's really strong. Keeping us in position is difficult. Don't they realize how hard it is to get a ship like this to hover? Uh, Ruan Rearguard, Menoria Station. This is RSLA. Ruan Rearguard, report your situation. I repeat, this is the cap. cap this is the RSLA. Ruan Rearguard, report. Just trying to keep the uh, lines of communication open. Did you hear a woman made it to the top of the Carnelia Tower? Wow, she must be incredible. Though I bet a Captain Schwartz could do the same. I'm sure she could. You get word that the society forces are attacking Ruan as well. They seem to have men everywhere in the kingdom. We need to strengthen our patrols in the future, it seems. Yeah, we do. And, yeah. Oh, hello. Hey, bracers! My research is stalled, so I thought I'd step out to clear my head a bit. I wonder what's going on with the tower. Very strange. I'm worried about my little brother in Ruan. Hope his town's safe. Hope the town's safe. I hope so too. Ruan's probably one of my favorites. I said about every place so. <gasps> Hello. Okay, get, get the get the get the translation. I must get the holy scripts. Okay, the scripts have been recovered. What are you doing out here anyway? Meow. Okay, meow with a question mark. What's wrong? Yeah, 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 yeah. With a tilde and an exclamation mark. Yeah, yeah, an expression, an expression of delight. Haha, <laughs> looks like someone's trying to tell us something. I think he wants to give us something. Nyan. It's a nyan and uh, with an N on the end. Yes, that's it. You're giving us this book. You have a book. Received Gamble Jack Volume 10. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Antion. Nyan. So, Mian, that's a, that's a rare M starting sound. Mian, okay, you are welcome, squishy pink thing. You are welcome, squishy pink thing. Well, this is special. That was amazing. Fumia, Nyan. That's another one, Fumia, a yawn. So, Fumia is a yawn, and then Nyan. I feel like I, like, I must sound like an ab, like, if we took this out of context, I would just sound insane well more insane maybe this would make a decent short yeah neon is i'm tired well look he's sunbathing Aww, i like this cat he's great okay well no then left to it let's get that book reading all right now we got gambler jack oh man i missed nine gosh darn it yeah, maybe I can f buy it. If I can buy it in the store, we'll get we, we can read both of them. But if not, then I will uh, just read ten. Disappointing, but eh, it happens. Okay. So, if we're gonna do this, let's do it right. 
God, I hate this. this hurts my soul. Oh, and Shahrazad has such a little OEP too, because she's only got she doesn't. Even, uh, oh, that sucks. Okay, we're gonna think about it. え、どうやらそうらしいわ。飲みに付き合えなくて残念よ。いや、I'm <laughs> yeah, sure you really good because he can change his supers, but Zen proved himself to be very effective at just doing a lot of damage and he can always, you know, take a ton of hits. So he's really good at, as a as a sponge tank. Could be really useful to have as well. <laughs> I think we will have him though. Alright. Uh, Chloe, I'm so sorry. But I think we'll pass on you just this once. I wonder where she goes. Oh, yeah, thank you, Zen, for your effort. You were awesome. He was brilliant in the last tower. Jin-san,の方は一休みってところ?まあ、本音を言えば少し休みたいところだが、そう言っても俺に状況だからな。お呼びとあらば即参上するぞ。無理することはないわよ。あのバルタを退けたんだもの。少しぐらい休んでちょ
Never change, Father Kevin. これは俺たち男性陣も気をつけんとあかんな。な、ヨシア君。な、なぜ僕に You know, see, that's, I think that Kevin sees Joshua as a rival, but Joshua, I don't think, knows what to do with Kevin. Alright, before we go, I need to equip orbs and also, like, now that Chloe is not part of our team, I should find her and try and talk to her, because I'm sure she's around somewhere. She's probably on the bridge, but I'm checking everywhere. But yeah, let's go, like, have a chat with her and see what she says, since we haven't had that opportunity. Ah, Estelle san, Yoshia san. Oh, good, good. Yes. Oh, really? Oh, good. Joshua. We I want you there. I want you there so much. <sighs> okay. So we gotta equip some orbs. And then we'll get. Just, we'll, we'll go crazy on it. So give me a second to get this all squared away. Alright, so. I mean. So my big problem here is Shahrazad. Maybe she'll just get more EP as she levels, but at the same time she's got a cap of 227. She's got all the stuff I need her to have. Some stuff I like. I wish she had a, the, a leveled up Kira, but she can't get it just because of the way my Cephas is working out. Um, I, otherwise, I have no real problem with her setup here. I mean, maybe doing more wind attacks, but. I feel like we're okay. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm frustrated because like that EP is like half of what Chloe has and that's frustrating. I have some EP charge, I can always buy more, but like it makes me just hesitant. I got, I just gave him beefcake stats as best I can. Should be fine. I, uh, I think my, one of my big concerns is that his movement's kind of low because some of these things take his way movement. I can't, I tried to counter it with a move three, so. About as good as we can get. Estelle's doing great. Joshua doing good. So, I feel like we're about as ready as we can be. So, yeah, I guess. Oh, just forgot something, though. I want you on the team. But we can't keep you. But thing is, I really need that crimson locket. All right, think we're good. Oh, let's read the the story real quick. And we may be missing a book, but we'll read Grambler Jack anyway. The match. Separated by the small card table, the two face off. Each player had a mountain of chips to wager. Once, once someone's pile was reduced to nothing, the match would be over. The clock struck midnight. In the silence following the chime, the grand match between Jack and Hala began. The first match was totally even. For every hand Jack won, Hal Hala won one other. Whenever Hala won a hand, Jack had the next. Neither gave they gave a rega. The ones most surprised by this close contest were Juan and his crew, everyone who'd bet on Jack starting to jeer and hoot. During the match, time and again, Hala spoke to Jack, using conversation to distract your opponent was all part of the game, but Hala's persistence was beyond just tactics. However, Jack never said a single word back to her. Thirty minutes passed, breaking the silence, Jack suddenly spoke. Once upon a time, there was a man. In a voice soft, the crowd could barely hear, he continued. This man had something he admired. He wanted to become the one thing he, the, the thing he admired, and he wanted to win against the object of his admiration. And through it all, he was drawn closer to that which he admired. Both laid down their hands. Jack had one pair, Hala had two. Chips moved from Jack's mountain to Hala's. Huh, <laughs> what is it, Jack? This is all part of your plan? Hala would occasionally add a sarcastic remark, but Jack just kept on telling the story. The man stole some tricks from that, w that which he admired and practiced his own skills as best he could. In the end, his efforts eventually made him strong. Strong enough that people called him victory. At some point, there was someone who took notice of that reputation. He thought, why not pit the best against each other? There's no show that could be better. Enrique's ears twitched. Something in what Jack was saying bothered him. The man gladly accepted the offer for the show. It was a match of a lifetime with that which he admired most, after all. The man's heart danced with excitement. If 
Back then, the man was a young fool who didn't see the world around him for what it was. Certainly, he'd never have thought about what it would really mean to lose that match. Halla listened, but made no reply. At some point, she started to pay attention to Jack's story. The audience was just the same. Everyone in the hall strained to hear the tale tumbling softly from Jack's lips. The two played their cards. Jack had no pair. Halla had a full house. Chips moved from Jack's mountain to Hal's. Interesting. I feel like they're gonna turn on, like, everyone there and just take over the place. Like, they're gonna suddenly become allies through his story. He's gonna, like, convince them, like, hey, we were manipulated against each other. Alright. In case I have buyer's remorse, we're making a save here, we're locking it in. There we go. Let's see if I made a terrible mistake not taking Chloe with me. My sweet, sweet, sweet Chloe. Well, not mine. She's her own person. Best character, though. Well, I don't know, actually. Estelle and Joshua are really good characters. I like Chloe a lot. If I haven't said it enough. Alright, here we go. Oh, here we go again. I'm sure it'll be nasty. Ironically, though, they seem to have, like, relatively the same amount of levels as the actual physical tower. There's some chests left to open from last time we were here. Alright, here we go. Time to ascend again. Alright, here we go. What are we gonna find here, yeah, I wonder? I'm gonna go ahead and do my, uh, not safety save. I'm gonna try and level up Sh uh, Shara and also make sure we get some Sephith if we can. Hmm. Lots of bad guys here, but... Should be fine. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. What are you expecting to find here? I don't know. Not that, though. That was great. Terrible bomb. Are you trying to open an empty chest? You break part of the corner off. Hoping nobody notices, you put the piece down and briskly walk away. Celestial bomb. You're sour. You scour every square inch of the chest, empty innards, desperate to find any scrap of treasure you missed. Smelling salts. Empty, but that should come as no surprise. EP charge. Treasure chest adventuring uh, advertising for the low, low price of 900 Mira per month. Insulating tape. The chest is but empty husk now. Do not mourn, for it is the fate of all things. <gasps> the first computer already? That's exciting. <laughs> oh. 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 Ah! Oh, crap. That's a boss. Hmm. Not sure I like this. Nice. All right, so maybe all the computers are going to be defended by a boss this time. That'll be kind of cool. All right, let's see. It's one of four about the Ariel seal. When we were creating, when we were something on the the underground facility, unbeknown to us, our seal. Something was uncovered by the Ariel. Our, 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 maybe our base, or our secret was uncovered by the Ariel. Some, or our, our coordinates were uh, 
Oh, comrades fell victim to the the seal uh, the seat destruction of the Ariel's emergency simulations and he was lost to us so someone like died because like the Ariel tracked them down so the Ariel was essentially was like it looks like it like it decided they talked about how like it became aware and it decided that humanity wasn't safe or couldn't be trusted with itself and so it kind of went skynet on them it seems like it just kind of oppressed humanity so they had this secret like resistance they built an underground base but it leaked and it like they started their comrades started getting scooped up however the si like the silence the slicer something in this cassette was Take or taught something caught uh, and something comrade was not aware of this of the upper scale of the something with the confirmation it gathered from his mind oh the Ariel did something on the underground facility by this, by the way, like, like, wayside or oceanside, and it pulled, and it pulled no to the embargoing of the device tower. Oh, like the device towers, or like the service towers. Oh, the towers, the physical manifestation of the towers, they were meant to be service towers, so they were able to connect to the Ariel. Maybe like it would like touch down and it would allow personnel to get up into the inner workings of it or something. Data Crystal 8. Okay. So it went all Skynet, but they found out it could, like, they could, they had a weakness. The towers were its weakness, or like, like a way of accessing its systems. Okay. Fascinating. Oh, I think that's a boss chest, but... Yep. Yeah, thought so. Second verse, same as the first. This was far from a good fight for me. Holy crap, that went badly. I was... I did not do good. Uh, Avenger, nice. Whatever riches once lay in this chest, it's just an empty vessel now. Alright, let's go heal real quick. Before we go open more chests. EP charge two. Hmm, five more minutes. He's a sleepy chesty. Celestial bomb? As you open the empty chest, it creaks loudly, probably cursing you out in its native tongue. Nice, more Sephith. Chest is out of service. Please come back during business hours. Hero bomb. Just is happy to see you again. That's very interesting. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's do another save because I think we got another boss fight in our hands. Yeah, that's that sound again. The bell. It's the bell. That makes you wonder if they're uh, actually illusions. Well, this is a pickle, actually. Holy crap! Joshua, you're a beast. <laughs> All right. But let's not forget Agat. He did a massive, fantastic strike there. That was good. Okay. Well, no worse for wear, all things considered. All right, part two. I wonder if this, this tower is going to be a lot more straightforward, where it's mostly just like we have to make certain fights, like we can't avoid anything, but it's not as much of a maze. How about the Ariel seal? Two out of four. The Ariel... Or the something A or something something, ha ha ha! I oh maybe the person typing this isn't making much sense because like what's this ha supposed to be? Having, dis uh, delivered on the, dis like, ha having learned of the plan, to took to. For uh took to something like float or 
Plalo. They are all madness or something fantasies as it defended and bet something something in the something gosh it's, it's hard to read these ones we saved our by only something to the just on just on single just on single channel contacted the Ariel to the connected the Ariel to the surface oh maybe the towers grounded it to the surface the re rev revolutionaries or rebels attack could not stop uh, some things like Ariel and to, so I that one's this is even tougher to read now. The meticulous by the something something on the day and something without but they eventually are distinctive definitive began to reach its limit. So something so their their device or their 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 attacks, the defenses began to reach their limit. They had they got they they got into a fight with it essentially, but it looks like they were forced they forced it to land and then they tried to storm it. That's my guess anyway. Again, like the first files were relatively like it was kind of fun to be able to try and suss them out because I could kind of figure them out. But these late these last two towers have been enigmas at best. They just block out way too much. All right, so again another boss fight. Dragon's Fang Whip. Back for seconds. Have you even used what you got the first time? I actually have not switched over the weapons for both of them. I need to do that right now. So Joshua got his Avengers. Sherazad got her Dragon Fang Whip. All right, now that's probably the boss chest, like the fighting, like we're gonna die chest, so. Reviving Bomb. Take, take, take. That's all you ever do. Why not try giving back to an empty chest sometime? Eh, I thought so. Ah, oh, it's the same fight. And I didn't do good in this one, so that's great. I didn't like that. That fight sucked. Eight divinations, Garb. At this point, you need to think outside the box. Terra bomb, and hey, Chess is more excited than excited to speak with you. You watched in stunned silence as he simply opened his lid and shook your head and walked away. All right, so we got as m the max stuff as we could of the blue and the white and the the space or whatever that is. Well, the white mirage. All right, number three. But the Ariel Seal, um, while under attack by the something, so it starts with an E, whatever it is that it uses to attack. We came forth to annihilate the machine, but it took something to secure time to secure the necessary energy starting the process we as soon as swift as we uh, as swiftly we something to celebrate and then and a something broke oh some kind of machine broke into the military processor Industrial processor. From inside, storing, store, uh, inside, stowing, st like, storing, it was something required, reached the necessary something in the intimate. We were fast as something's spreading. From total, 
something something from total disaster in the final power for the signaling something was finally achieved just as the something was upon us we at we activated the first something so they activated something right like just as like this like some big mechanism machine device was like it found them it like breached into the interior system and it was just gonna it was like ripping them apart and just at the final moment they were able to unleash what, like a virus or something maybe all right there's a chest there which means i need to ruby gem Ooh. You, uh, pawing around the bottom of the chest, you find a small door. Opening it, you see the ground. Well, it was underwhelming. Alright. I don't think I can equip this. Or maybe I can with, like, a st Oh, I can. So with that, we have a mishmash on her, but she can not only launch some pretty powerful spells, but she's also got some pretty good buffing going on. And the luck. Like, don't necessarily need it, but because I use her to farm... Well, actually, I don't need that. I get enough stuff, so let's put something better on here. Can you really put two yin yangs? That doesn't seem like it should be allowed. Because now she has Lakira. <laughs> That's the thing I couldn't get on. What the fetch is this? So now she's a pretty decent healer herself. So now Estelle is like a healer and our fire mage. What the fetch? This is just getting ridiculous. That ruby gem by itself is doing so much heavy lifting. That's funny. That's really funny. It could be fun to give that to Agat too, but I don't think, like, I couldn't get any, I don't think he's got any slots available, and if he does, I kind of still want Estelle to have that. I like that. Okay. Well, fun. Insanity and fun at the same time. Okay, let's save before I don't have to do that again. Oh, boy. Oh, let's walk right into that again. Okay. I feel like we're probably ready. Oh. We might be at the top now, though. Like, if we're not fighting this, it might be because there's, like, a boss boss coming up with, you know, Miss Bell Girl. About the Ariel Seal 4 out of 4. A light shone from the facility. Connected off the exterior wall from the... Brandenburg... Ca caught the... Or something, something caught the manifestation or the coding uh, in the sky. In... A moment, the Ariel vanished before us, and then something stopped. Though, through something, we knew that something was a success. The Ariel and of something, something was treasured, go uh, governing the power of space. Governing the power of space. Oh, maybe, like, I was thinking space isn't, like, the, the, the place, but maybe it meant space is, like, the, the energy. Like, it was a master and manipulated space, like, Sepheth. Something was intended to nullify the Ariel. Something held absolute dom- Uh, something- Oh, okay. So, this four-letter word, I think, is a name. Somebody was, like, maybe the AI system? Intended to nullify the Ariel, somebody held absolute domination of space itself to the utter, uh, and then the utterly severe something, communications of space. It's all blocked out now. Hard city into successfully terminated, frozen. Okay, so running theory now is that the AI system was meant to oversee and protect the uh keep the ariel in check but it went mad and had just complete control reviving bomb a great story i want to uh want to as tell you sometime uh-huh all a terror bomb keep us six faces but none of them look as disappointed as yours does right now i like that one softening bomb Dogi, the walking crusher's got nothing on Estelle, the treasure taker. The wall crusher's got nothing on Estelle. EP charge three. The chest is as empty as the promise you made. You know which one. All right. Now, just so I don't have to open those chests again, if these are boss fights that wreck me, I am going to save. Sapphire talisman. Where to have one of those? Lamenting the lack of items in the chest, you ponder the merits of wearing the chest itself as makeshift armor. And... 
Regina Garter. Once you notice the treasure chest is slowly protruding its sharp fangs from the edge of its lid, you back away slowly and run. It is a mimic! They are mimics! I knew it. They'll awaken one day and begin the revolution. And I imagine there's a healing platform. Yep, here we go. Okay. So we got those shoes, right? Here we go. Final fight. Here we come. I'm nervous. I don't feel like... Oh, well, hang on. Before we do all that. I'm, like, it'd be funny if this was also a fight that I could then heal right after, but just in case. Master Beads. Life is what happens between opening treasure chests. Okay, what are Master Beads? I feel like I already had those. Might be a hint, too. Uh, sleep and Confusion. Good point, actually. Alright, I'm gonna go on a limb here, and I'm going to get the Master Beads... So, Joshua has it, Estelle does not. Okay, I wanna get something that prevents confusion on Estelle. Cause I imagine confusion is gonna be a big problem here. Um, I just, just a gut feeling, but I'm gonna save again, because if I read the situation wrong, I'm reloading. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. I think the wolf was scarier to me, but the fact, but maybe I should be more nervous for this fight because I'm underestimating it. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. She says, is, she's, like, so the, the text said her name, but she said Nissan, like sister, or sibling. Sibling. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good question. You just decided on a whim? なつかしい場所だっていうのにどうしてこんなことをしてるの知らねえの気持ちも考えないでエステルいいわ言葉で尋ねるだけじゃ we gotta beat the bell out of her hand. Yeah. だからねさん。約束して <laughs> Alright, and what do you got for us this time? Oh no! I remember those. Right, they suck. Well, they don't look super great in front of the, the, the orb, uh, the, the beta orbal. There we go. Okay. God, a lot of them. But I also learned, like, it's almost not worth focusing on the ads because they usually summon more if you take them out. All oh, that music. Gosh, she has so many spells now. Oh, wait. Let me see real quick. I'm guessing they won't have any weaknesses. Oh, interesting. They're weak to Earth. Alright. Oh, no. This one's weak to Earth. The others are kind of weak to Earth, but immune to almost everything else. Okay. So I'll definitely have to do some work on that one. Oh, wait. Did I give up, like, all my Earth spells? I didn't think of that. Ooh. Alright, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. It should be fine. It, it's fine. Ooh. I got excited about the fire. I thought it'd be more useful, but it's not gonna be as useful here. That could be good, though. Anyway, clock up. Alright, boy. Let's do some damage! Come on, Agat. We saved up our CP just for this. Hey, we got two of them. Oh, 
Ah, it's flying away. Oh. Dang it! That's not good. Sleep. Sleep's gonna be a problem. Oh, great. She's getting her super off already. That's terrible. Is it triggered just because I did damage to her? Oh, woke up Estelle, though. That's good. Now, where's... Did... He must have been interrupted, because, like, we had... We had stuff in place for that. Oh, it took all of our buffs off? No, not all of them. But it interrupted all of our, our arts. Okay. Doing lots of damage though. Oh, he's going fast. He's going speedy. He's Speedy McSpeedster. Yeah. Now, nah, I do need to heal you all, like, badly. And that big boy tornado. I need to try and bring it down fast because it does big debuffs. Oh, fetch, I can't. Mm. And it can't call allies, okay. Yeah, so we're gonna have to focus on just taking her out first. Didn't heal herself. Oh, and I took like all of her magic. Gosh darn it, Chloe, I wish you. There we go again. I don't think this will finish you, but I'm gonna give it the college try. Come on! Come on! Ah. Uh. Oh, wait. I could try. Yeah! Let's do that. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought it might do something special to Stell because she's sleeping. Oh, she's so close! I'm so disappointed. Vestel, please get up. Okay. We're gonna just take her out now. Stop with the buffs! Finally. Now we need to figure out how to take out these ads. Yeah, just get out of the way. Oh, but she gets a critical. Maybe this will do it. All right. Okay. Little touch and go there, but we managed it. Aww. Very fitting that she got to finish it. Level 70. And you. Estelle, we were doing fine. Nessa, do. Ganbata go hobi ni, watashi ga kesha ni haitta no wa. That's not an answer. Jibun no yami wo mikiwameta katta kara yo. She's like, I was always lined to be like this. I just decided to finally express it. Hachi nen mai, zacho ga gake kara tenraku shite. Oh my. Was that you? Oh my gosh. You were done with the truth, but didn't want to just leave. So you destroyed it. Oh my gosh. You seduced him and then pushed him off a cliff. Holy crap! Oh my gosh, you are horrifying! 
どうしてって答えは簡単、oh、my あの時座長は一人きりで崖の近くにいたのではないの私が座長のそばにいた oh my gosh <laughs> what a psychopath <laughs> she was like the one for... 突き落としたのよ She was the one person I thought might be like, I don't know, maybe I'd been coerced into this or, you know, like just falling on hard times. No, she was psychopathic from the beginning. <laughs> Are you freaking serious? He was like her dad. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude. She's like Walter levels of scary. Jordan, k i t s u y o That a n o t o k n e s a n j i b u n o t e e z a c h o k o r o s t e k a r a n a n i k u a n o k a o d e m i n a n o m o t o n i m o d o r s o s t e s o n o b a d e s u z u n a r a s t e z a c h o n o s a k e b i g o i n o g e n c h o o k i k a s e r So he's already dead when she did that. Oh my gosh. w a t a s h i n o g e n j u t s o t s k a e b a So she had no remorse, and she probably also was drawn to Ouroboros because she wanted to expand her power that maybe she felt she just wasn't utilizing in a good way, or like in an interesting way, not a good way. Couldn't forget for what? Ano Hitonga. What a statue no motocara sat the eco to stacotonga. Wait, so your logic was he was going to abandon you, so you killed him and made the troop leave. Where in the world does that make any sense in your brain? Eh? Ah, that s finish its work. Mata. Oh my gosh, it just clued to me. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Why? Why did it take just now? They talked about how they built a facility underground in order to um, to contain, to like, to, to, to try and stop the Ariel, and how it got breached and they almost got destroyed, right? That's what's under Grand Slow Castle. That's this tower. The tower that's buried underneath the castle, the fortress. A fortress under the city that, was, that they used in order to try and stop the Ariel. That's what their base was. Oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. How did that take so long to clue? Oh, oh, holy crap, that's cool. And it makes sense too. That was the first line of defense that was stopping the Ariel, but when it failed, they had backup systems built into the towers to activate to prevent the Ariel from just waking up right away. But they're taking those down, so they're going to reactivate it. Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. Oh, we're screwed. We're so screwed. <laughs> どうやら時間切れのようねねねえここにあった結界って何のために貼られてたの結社は一体何をしようとしているわけ残念だけど私たちも詳しいことは教わっていないの教授に指示された通りのことをやっていただけだから She's such a puppet. ただ隠された塔の内部を見てなんとなく見当はついたのだけどえ Yeah, so she's like her older sister. That's Why is this one the most depressing one? Holy crap! Serane! Serasa! Daijobu! Sinpai Sinaide! No, you're not! You just found out your adopted dad was murdered by your sister. Or... You're not fine! I'm not fine! If I can't be fine from this, you are certainly not! Ah! Serasa! シリンの塔もこれで三つアルセイユに戻って最後の塔に向かいましょう
Because, you know, we have to face her eventually. That probably means we have to take Tita with us, doesn't it? That's gonna... S Tita's fun, but she's definitely one of the weaker on the team. Anyway. Well, at least they're trying to do something here. They're probably trying to lure you into a trap. Oh, that's too good. Capture it? Yeah. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! <laughs> oh, yeah, because we're heading to Grantsville now, so yeah. That makes sense that we're seeing what's going on here. Good. そうだな。兵たちも疲れているだろう。後の警備は5詰めに任せて。今日はゆっくり休ませてやれ。了解。私のフォーチュース。以上をもちまして、各方面からの報告は終わりです。アルセイユの遊撃士も含め、おおむね
Is there plot relevant story elements worthwhile to to do this, or is it just too much of a handicap? Because I feel like Tita doesn't bring a whole lot to the table when it comes to like excising damage, but I would love to have her. I know she's got some good skills. I know she. I understand all the characters have good skills to bring, and I feel like like it feels like I should bring Tita with me. But I'm nervous because she's definitely the weakest member of the team. Oh uh, gosh, I don't know. Okay, I'd like your input on it. But for now, I'll bring her on the team. We'll switch out party members. We'll switch out and talk to people. But we are gonna be ending here for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Holy crap, this episode. Woo! It's a huge We will we'll deal. We'll figure it out, and we'll find out what the future holds. I'm really excited for next week, so thank you so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. It's always fun to record these, but, you know, it's getting intense. And Ren, my gosh, such a cool character, Ren. I really, really hope that she manages to. I doubt she's going to just come over to our side, but I hope that when the dust settles from all this, she isn't... Because, I mean, at least everyone else in, the, in Ouroboros, they're adults. They're allowed to make decisions, right? Like, it's sad that you can't say that, but, like... Yeah, you get what I'm meaning though. Ren is so young, she doesn't, she hasn't had a chance to be a child, it seems. She hasn't had a chance to dictate her own actions. I think at the very least, she should go out on her own for a little while without the, you know, brain massages from Master Professor Dude and like actually decide what she wants in her life. Because a lot of, you know, she might go back and at that point, yeah, she'll just be standard enemy. But at this, but as it is, she deserves to be able to set her own path, even for a little while. But she also seems genuinely excited to do what she's doing, so who knows. Uh, I guess we'll just get to that when we get to it. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much for being a part of the channel, for just being a part of this great community. I don't deserve you, and I'm very grateful that you're here. I hope you all take care of yourselves, and uh, yeah. Look forward to the upcoming videos if you haven't seen these. Thank you to the patrons and members who support me directly. They're also the ones who really got me to start this playthrough, so thank you so much. And I'm looking forward to hearing your comments on this one, especially with the ending of like, is it worth bringing Tita or not? Other than that, thank you so much. And until the next video watching me, I'll see you in next. I'll see you there.